sex out of being comfortable and making it edgy and naughty and dangerous. All that stuff that when I grew up and was doing my sex um, therapy degree, it was all, you know, everyone has to be comfortable, you know, women have to put the rose petals in the, you know, make sure it's nice and calm and make it feel, no, that never works. Look, you know, people like risky sex, they like sex that they shouldn't be having. It's all about forbiddenness and eroticism. And mm. So you've got to create that. You've got to get, you know, so push yourself sexually. Get out of the norm. Do things that are a bit naughty. Not with other people. I'm not talking about another body in the bed. But just do sexy things. Like go into a sex shop. You know, if you're in London and so on, just have a look around. They don't exist anymore, I don't know. Um, go into, you know, go online. Look at porn. Look at or erotica if you don't like porn. Look at, just push yourself into doing things that mm. make you feel slightly uncomfortable. Because it might make you feel a bit weird at the time, but later on, I mean, lots of couples who say they want to try a threesome, I always say to them, just go to some sort of lap dancing club or a swingers club or something like that. And just go. Don't do anything when you're there, but just go, have a look. You don't have to participate in all these things. Or just go and have a drink in a lap dancing club, you know, club or, you know, just, just put yourself in that environment and then take yourself out of that environment. And that's often enough, because it's all like, oh my God, did you see that? But it's naughty, isn't it? And then all of a sudden you've done something naughty together, and it takes you out of that, here's my partner who I go and, you know, who I cook, do the dishes with, and I cook a meal mm. for, and I, you know, it's very mundane. You see each other differently, and it takes you into another zone, it takes you into a sex zone. Yeah, I, I can see that. So maybe, yeah, take a little trip to string fellows. <laughs> yeah, just something that's unusual for you, something that's a bit of promoting strippers. Um, not wrong with strippers, but anyway, so just something that's a little bit edgy. So that is definitely the new way of thinking, is, you know, it's got to be erotic sex. It can't just be safe sex. Nothing wrong with safe, lovely, romantic sex, but you've got to mix it up a bit, especially if you're, you're sort of, you know, your libido sort of stuck.